Alright, that was a practice run. That was definitely practice I think I can do it this time. Welcome back to Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. We are halfway through this mission route. And, well, we are going into the next mission, which is Ch Mission 5. The Storm Over Kalimanjaro, but first, Zeta Gundam's Baptism of Fire. The Pulse of Zeta. Or the Pulse of Zeta. Kamiya, still affected by his feelings for four, headed to space. He had come up with a concept of, for a new mobile suit, which was developed by Anaheim Electronics. And this came to fruition as the Zeta Gundam upon Kamiya's return to space. A year later. The storm over Kilimanjaro. The AU teams up with Karaba to capture the Titan's Kilimanjaro base on Earth. Quattro and Camille were sent to support Karaba from space, but are forced to land on Earth due to an enemy attack. Now, Karaba, led by Amaro and the Kilimanjaro base defense force, are locked in a heated battle. A heated battle indeed. When I first did this. I'm gonna call it a practice run because I thought. And I do mean I thought I had the battle won until four happened. So we're gonna be dealing with four and that little piss ant Jared. So let's do this. I'm hit. I guess I left myself exposed. The Hyaku Shiki's going down. Lieutenant Quattro! Camille, you've transformed? You want me to ride on a Zeta? Watch the shockwave, Zito, come off! Heading to Kilimanjaro now! So, this time around, I'm at level 9. I should be able to get something out of it. I still have base parts with the um, Zeta. Abilities, man. I think that's why most times for the mobile suits that I use in mission mode. Like I know coming up will be double Zeta. Because it's, it's the last one in the in the actual um, storyline in, in the original UC timeline. And, and Zeta's uh, double Zeta is a pretty short story. So, it really doesn't have much as far as story is concerned, which I find is a real freaking shame, but when I get to it, hmm, when I get to it, I'll share my thoughts about that. If I haven't shared anything about this yet, it's the only reason why it just leaves me with a very bad taste in my mouth. So our victory conditions are as follows, we take over Kilimanjaro base, and if either I'm shot down or Quattro is shot down, we lose. So, without further ado, let's start the mission and get going. Captain 
for those who are asking, yes, I'm playing this off the disc. So recently, I've gotten back to playing um, Front Mission. To the point where I am going to actually finish it. Among everything else I plan to finish before going on vacay. Space? None yet, sir. They must have been shot down. I think the last good series I've seen so far, as far as Gundam was concerned, was Psycho Unicorn. Gundam. Four. Is that you? Die! I'm not kidding. The last one, the last one I actually did watch was on um, Unicorn. I have not seen Iron Iron Blood Orphans yet. Actually, I haven't seen much anime these days because I've been so busy with life. I just haven't really felt like I'm going to watch anime. I mean, on my own, the last, the, the last good anime I've actually ever watched was, um, as far as Gundam was concerned, it was Gundam. I didn't mind Unicorn because Unicorn was pretty good. You know, the character reminded me of um, Uso Edwin from Victory. And even though they had a nod to um, Amuro, he didn't act like Amuro, you know? Like he knew the importance of life and death. Kind of tap, he, he did tap into his into his new type side. Plus, I can also say it also felt like it was inspired by X. Excellent work, Camille. From now on, it'll take more than brute force to beat them. Lieutenant Quatro, don't underestimate how good he is. We'll draw away the enemies. That way, the advanced forces can get in the base. I mean, for what it was worth. I didn't mind it, you know. And and to be quite honest, it's kind of hard to get into a, a good Gundam series. But when they have that one good one, you want to keep, you want to watch it. Like for me, my first one was really, um, 0079. It wasn't Gundam Wing. No, when Toonami was actually showing the good stuff, you know, 
I watched. You've gotten better, Camille. I really did watch um, the other Gundam series, like Stardust Memory, War in the Pocket. That isn't ready for battle. They're still fine tuning it. It's a mobile suit, ain't it? If it works, I can use it. If it sits, he fits. I mean, on my own, though, the only movie, the, only, the last movie I've actually ever watched, and it was sort of mech-related, sort of not, was, um, the World Space Force. If you can actually find it, I highly recommend that you go see it. It's a classic by its own standards. I also have uh, Martian Successor, not a sequel, but I haven't seen it yet. Again, been so big with everything. Else. Yeah, you don't seem to mind, Camille. Deadlock? No deadlock? Last time when I was doing um this battle on the practice run, it was a deadlock. See, every time I figure I get a game over, I would call it a practice run. Even when I record it, yeah, I would still call it a practice run because I'm not really like. Call me Inspector Gadget. Excellent Gadget. work, Camille. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna call me Inspector Gadget and you'll go, I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Yeah. You know, that's where. <laughs> yes, yes, we know. Five, six, seven. Die! Stay away from her. Don't you know she's a cyber new tribe? Don't you know she's 80s? Yeah? So what? She can take control of your mind. She blinded me with science, okay? She still doesn't know. We have to tell her the truth. Cyber new types are triggered into battle mode by external stimuli. If we can fix that, she'll be fine. There's no need to kill her. You believe that, yes. You've gotten better, Camille. Thank you. Die. Allow me to help you on your way. You know, 
know, you guys could just drop some health, you know. Attack boosting. How about some parts? See, that's what I'm talking about. Good. Please. Excellent work, Camille. Um, Quattro, dude. This is getting out of hand. No, you're kidding. <laughs> then again, you're just, just sliding right into the thick of it. No help needed, just, I'm just going to go in there, oh wait, I'm just going to get my ass handed to me. Because it's the AI, the AI can't do anything without your help. Oh, especially in... You must be thinking of converting Florida to our side. I don't know. Please trust me, if we work together, we can defeat the Psycho Gundam. Four can break free. I, I can get laid. So. Force personality is an imprinted artificial construct. Forced with drugs, hypnosis. Sex. Rock and roll. Don't you get it yet? You can't beat me. Ever. Well, the hot bloods come to, come to show. Well. My pilot, the Psycho Gundam. I change into someone else. I just black out. Yes, dear. Another personality takes over. I see that. And before, if, before we can even see Jared, it's like, oh, hey. Stay away from that thing. I don't want to hear that machine. Camille, don't let her run. Ow. Ah. Camille, she's piloting the psycho Gundam. No, I didn't know that. Draw your gun, she'll kill you. I know. Six, seven, eight. We're at war here, Camille. But I'm a human. We're all human? Ow. This isn't the time to act like a kid. There must be a way to save people, even during a battle. Find it. I don't think so. You're blind to reality, Lieutenant Quattro. I'll protect. Four. That was nice. Four, step out of the cycle Gundam. Well, I slash at your crotch. So it's you. You're the one making me suffer. Come on, Four. It's Camille. Don't you recognize me? I do. You're Camille Bidon. And you... Pilot for Zeta Gundam. Ah. What you? So you still want to fight? Ah, son of a bitch!
There. Hey. Thank you. New type. Get off your ass and cover me. I'll take a I'll take a double wall. Thank you. Let go. Stop that. Let me shoot at your crotch. Again. Never learn, do they? History repeats. I'm not going to call you Lieutenant Quattro anymore. We need you to be Shar Asnable now. If you say so, Camille. Level 10 still took down this. Hmm. Give my points, damn it. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, I knew it was the byline. It's just as I mentioned in the first time. Yeah, Jared's, Jared's going in a byline. figure. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the series. So in the next part, we're going to go into Mission 6, Shiroko Steps 4. Yes, we're going to be dealing with Poptimus Shiroko. So, I'll see you in the next part when we deal with this and follow seven and eight. So stay tuned. More of DWG two right after this.